All right. We're good. Hey, guys. We are so glad that you are with us, joining us for our team call tonight. Um, today is, oh, goodness, May 3rd. Can you believe that we are in May already, five months into the year? We are like 90 or 80 some days away from summit so if you're going to summit um woohoo! if you're not get there next year please 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 one of the best ways to have success in your business is to make it to events like this team call like the national wake up call like super saturday like summit like success club trips the more of these events that you get to the more motivated you're going to be to grow your business these events are the defining moment for a lot of the top coaches to talk on the wake-up calls so get to this call get to all the other stuff but mainly get to this call next tuesday nine o'clock if you're watching this on replay be here um and so we're going to kick this call off james what do we need to know this week all right all right i'm here so uh this month, I don't know if you guys have seen the challenge packs that are on sale, but this month is all about Sean P. Um, and I didn't know until the wake-up call, but he wasn't actually going to be at Summit. He's going to be at Summit for an uh, exclusive workout. So uh, Sean T. is he's, he's fun to work out with, Had super high energy. Um, so Max 30 and Size are going to be the two, the two challenge packs that are on sale for 140 And you can always add a kickstart, so it would be the three-day refresh to those for, for $40 more. So 180 um, deal, you know, when they do when they do the do all that combo and then just knock it down even more. So you won't see much of Sean T's stuff at 140 like really ever. So um so that's that's uh, this that's this month. Um, along with that um, let's kind of get into talking about summit. Oh, well actually this month you hit success club five it means you're helping three people. You're going to get that that private call with Brian Tracy, and I was just looking up uh, Brian Tracy. Uh, I was just looking up his books, just just kind of. Uh, I'm actually reading one right now. It's called No Excuses. Also, if you guys never, maybe ever heard the book called Eat That Frog or Eat Eat the Yeah Eat That Frog, that's Brian Tracy. And I, I just typed in and Googled them Brian Tracy books, and it just kept going. And I'm like, how many books can somebody write? It was a t about probably 50 books. So we're gonna have. Um, you know, a private webinar with him uh, for Beachbody if you hit Success Club 5 this month. So that is huge. Um, and Summit, like, uh, like like Kimberly said, it's coming up July 28th to 31st. Men's Retreat is this month. Guys, it's here. Like, I'm super pumped about it. But May 21st to 22nd in Dallas, uh, we're going to have we're gonna have a good little showing. David, uh, David Anthony, me. Um, and uh, Jack yeah. Patrick. So um, there's going to be a nice little. I'm I'm super excited for that. And I'm actually planning on staying an extra day after. Uh, I know we actually got some grief, Jack and I, from the the women folk about it. Now not from Andrea, um, but about staying an extra day. But when you're kind of get when you're in an area that you're going to be compressed with so much information, and you know, we really wanted to not just come back home and just get back into life and let life just happen. We wanted to stay an extra day and really dig in to the material that we're, that we're learning and, and really get a game plan together. So um, that's what we're doing. Um, Summit, let me talk about Summit real quick. I know we have a, a decent amount of us going to Summit as well. Um, we're gonna do a, a Team Radiant Summit shirt. Uh, I know a lot of teams do that. So, um, so what we're gonna do is Success Club. Whoa, that's loud. Success Club in this month, this month or next month, will get you a, a t-shirt, free Team Radio t-shirt. If not, cost will probably be about twenty dollars if you if you wanted to buy that. So I should make it like fifty dollars, hundred dollars. <laughs> so um, so those will be cool. It'll be cool to be able to you know maybe at, maybe at the super workout where there's. 30,000 of us all working out together and we all have our matching shirts it would be pretty cool to take some pictures and you know we're, with the streets that are just you cannot see the end of people that are working out the semi trucks that lift up with the big TVs and it's just crazy um, so that's that's uh, something we're gonna be working on design for that so may if you didn't hit success club in April brush it off a lot of people didn't uh, we did thanks to Andrea um, and I think we're getting an apron, Shakeology apron. So she earned that apron. Um, but this month, we're fresh. This is May. 
it's beginning of May. This is a big month. A lot of people are thinking about the summer. I mean, it's right. It's we're here. We're in the spring. So, um, also for this month of May, see, I'm, gonna, I'm really incent going to be be throwing some stuff at you guys. Success Club has to be our has to be our minimum. Success Club five. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys as much stuff as I can possibly give you for hitting some of these things. So I don't know if you guys have heard about this book. Ask Gary V from Gary Vaynerchuk. I am digging it. I love it. I love Gary Vaynerchuk. He's, he's, he's great. I, I mean, his stuff, he swears a lot, unfortunately, but his stuff is right on and it's right on for today's um, business building. And the, the advice he gives, he just doesn't, He's not looking, I don't know, it's just great stuff. So, Success Club 5 this month may get you on those books. It's like, whatever, I'll ship it to you, however we gotta get it to you. Um, so those are, you know, a lot of benefits to hitting Success Club 5 this month. Hit Success Club 10, I'll give you some more stuff. So, um, we'll find stuff to give you. We'll make you all sorts of stuff. Shirts and whatever. Andrea sends you some tacos or something. These are looking awesome and I'm talking. <laughs> um, <laughs> We just like rush to exercise and I gotta eat or I'm gonna pass out. So, um, Shanti, all right, so another thing is Shanti, for anybody who's coming to Summit, Shanti's doing a workout. Um, they're gonna do the top 700 people for Success Club. We'll get that workout, a private workout with Shanti. So, if anybody loves Shanti and is going to Summit, uh, that would be an awesome goal to hit. Uh, at the end of this call, we're going we're to briefly talk about houses, housing, hotels, some different options that we have there. Um, and I'm going to pretty much that's it for any of the news, right? I think so. All right, Kimberly, take it over with uh, Monday morning wake up, wrap up. Wake up, wrap up. Cool. So you can eat that taco, right? <laughs> um. Okay, National Wake Up Call, every Monday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Make this a non-negotiable in your business. Do not miss this call. They have the top leaders in the network um, that come and share their knowledge, share their wisdom with us, and help us grow our businesses. So definitely something that you want to make a part of your business. You can catch it live. You can catch the replay. There's a replay number. You can also catch it on on iTunes as a podcast. If you have Android, you can um, tap into an app like Podcast Addict. That's personally what I use. Just type in Team Beach Body Coach uh, Call, and it will come up, and you have the whole backlog of calls. So this week, it was Christina Delgado, and she was on an Infinity Zoom call a couple of weeks ago. So it was great to kind of hear that and then now to hear her again. She's full of all kinds of wisdom for us. And she talked about Leadership Ladder and Success Club. So if you don't know what it is, figure out the Leadership Ladder. That was the first thing she talked about is knowing the Leadership Ladder so that you can grow in the Leadership Ladder. Uh, we have ranks. Uh, uh, what's the first rank? Emerald, Ruby, Diamond. We've got these ranks, but they don't mean anything. Um, they do mean that you've done a little work, but you can be a diamond that just occasionally earns an $18 check. You don't have to be doing any work. You don't have to be growing a business to have a specific rank. What the leadership ladder does is show those business building coaches, those coaches that are serious about building their business, it shows them exactly what they need to do to move their business forward. So know the leadership ladder, know the rungs of it, know which rung you're on, know the requirement to move to the next rung. Um, that brought her to her second point, which was if you can measure it, you can improve it. And this is why we use the business activity tracker. This is why we, um, excuse me, focus on success club. These are numbers. The, and they're things that we can measure in our business to move our business forward. You can't measure what you can't track. What you can't track, you can't grow. So um, really look at, uh, Look at what you need to do in that leadership ladder to move you forward so that you can get to the next rung, and then set your goals based on that leadership ladder. 
One of the first requirements for Leadership Ladder and getting even onto the Leadership Ladder is hitting Success Club 5. So make that a goal. Make that a non-negotiable. She gave three tips for hitting Success Club, um, uh, and she had a lot of really good stuff to say. But um, her three tips, number one, talk to more people. If you have a goal of hitting Success Club 5, that's, that's helping three people. And that's your minimum. So if you've got to help three people, say you have a 10% conversion rate, that means that you've got to talk to 30 people. But that is a minimum. The more people you talk to, the more likely you're going to be to hit success club, to get those three people, to get more than those three people, which is really what you want. That success club five is just a bare minimum. You always want to aim higher. So she said, and I thought this was a great quote, think big and act big. Think big and act big. Make everything that you're doing bigger. If you haven't read it, I do recommend reading Grant Cardone's 10X Rule. It's all about expanding your thinking, expanding your goals, 10Xing everything so that you can hit something. Um, uh, her second tip for hitting Success Club is to be intentional, to act with purpose. So whatever you do, make sure you're doing it intentionally. When you post on social media, uh, do so um, to add value and to post with purpose. So she was saying that she heard a call from Saudi, uh, and I forget, Monty, I think is her last name. And she said, so you post something on social media, you should be asking yourself, and? You know, and what's the point? Why did I just post this? So if you're posting your Shakeology, don't just post a picture of your Shakeology and say, best Shake ever. And why does somebody care about this? What is that Shakeology doing for you? Um, tell a story. So I was listening to something else, and this kind of ties in. Uh, we use it for objections and handling objections, but how can you use feel, felt, down to tell a story around your Shakeology. So, you know, before I started taking Shakeology, I felt very tired and sluggish. And I can go back to my Facebook statuses from eight, nine years ago, seven years ago, five years ago, three years ago, and I can see just about every day, I am so tired. I am so tired. I am so tired. I, I feel what you're feeling. I felt that way, too. I found that taking Shakeology, I have so much more energy. You know, give people your story. Give them a reason. Post with purpose. Her third tip, uh, use third-party tools. So don't be the genius. Use a tool. Even if you know it all, use a tool. Point people to the videos that we have. Um, she said, you know, if somebody's interested in 21 Day Fix, send them a video for 21 Day Fix. Send them that third-party tool because that gets them excited about autumn. It gets them excited about the program. They see the results that are showcased in that video, and that gets them pumped up and excited about that program. So let third-party tools do the talking for you. Um, a couple of other things she said, and I know I'm going along here. She had a lot of really cool stuff to say. She said, Success Club gives you a business, so if you're not hitting Success Club, you don't have a business. You've got to hit Success Club to have a business, a beach body business. Otherwise, you're just doing this as a hobby. It doesn't really matter. So if you're truly serious about building a business, hit Success Club. Um, recruiting grows your business. Duplication supercharges your business. So really, you've got to focus on three things. Uh, success Club, recruiting, getting coaches in under you, building a team, and then duplication, helping your team to grow. Um, and then finally, she said, incorporate the leadership ladder into your team and your business today. Make it part of your lingo. Recognize those that are making achievements on the leadership ladder and climbing the leadership ladder. And then also set your goals around the leadership ladder so that you can progress up the rungs of that leadership ladder. So, yep, there you go. Awesome, Kimberly. Um, just so you guys know to where you can find out where the leadership ladder information is. If you go in your back office, um, you know, if anybody doesn't know where to go to get that, go to teambeachbody.com and then go to the coach tab, line office, 
and right on that front page, it'll have your leadership ladder. You can just click on that link and see where you're at and where you, you know, where where it takes to get to the next part. And a lot of people have, have a question of how, well, how, how do I make money in this business? And that's, it's spelled out right there for you. So if you're looking to make, you know, extra thousand dollars a week, whatever, it, it, all the runs are right there. So this is what you do. This is how you do it, uh, which is a lot better than, you know, saying Emerald Diamond, Star Diamond, because if you guys have read the reports, you know, that just came out from last year, a, a Emerald can make like nothing up to so many, you know, so many thousands. So it's kind of such a big variable. But if you're doing these these things and you have this many people hitting Success Club and you have this much weak leg volume, you're going to make a certain amount of money. So um, Kimberly, awesome. Thank you. You are always, you you will, just guys, mark my word, she will be on a Monday morning wake up call one done, if not multiple times. So be ready for that. Kimberly, you, you're, you're prepping for it, so awesome. All right, guys, so I just had a, um, just was told I had to take that document down because it's copywritten. So we're not gonna, uh, I hope you guys, I'm gonna just kind of go over the questions, and if you guys wanted to um, get your fingers ready, if you guys don't have it or didn't have it, um, because I totally didn't think about it, but that's copywritten material, and they paid for it, and. I don't know. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. So, um, so that's going to be, you know, we're going to go over that in a few seconds here. But just want to give a little shout out. Nicole Belmore is not on here tonight, but she just got back to Emerald. So I wanted to um, give her a shout out for that. And, you know, everybody who's been consistent on their workouts and, and showing up every day, you guys have been doing great. I have last week totally took a week off of my knee. We're back and um, we're excited to, to not drop off again. But, um, I was amazing spousal support. I took the week off too. That's right. Hey, you know. Terrible. She had those pains, like you know, when your wife's pregnant. You know, sympathy, uh, pains. sympathy pains. Yeah. So she, but she, she had to take care of a big baby. I'm a seriously just a big baby when I'm hurt. So, um, so great job to Nicole. And um, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but you know, Monique's not in our in our team per se. She was actually one of our coaches' customers, and she's actually under another whole other team. But they're not really supporting her, so we continue to support her. But I was just looking at a picture earlier today from like an earlier size night from months ago, and she she has really been put. I mean, she's just been staying consistent and true, and you know that's why I gave her that shout out today because she's she's doing great. So. Um, I mean, her whole world can be is changing from from staying consistent and doing her program and and doing it. So, um, and that's you know, those are the little things, the recognition side. Like that's seriously the fourth vital behavior. We need to do more of it. You know, for coaches, for challengers, for just people. You know, that's just recognizing people. Is just you know, people don't do that. People, most people, the last time they've gotten applause was when they graduated from high school. So let's let's not be that. I'm trying to trying to get us so we're not so bright. Hold on a second here. Yeah, it's weird. Um, all right, cool. So basically, we we're going to talk about setting expectations, and you know, one big one like like we've all pounded in so far, success club expectations hitting success club. That is you know where we really need to build our team, our culture, and our team's culture. So as you're building, you know, right off the bat, that's that's going to be what we all need to strive for. So, um, and another little thing I want to talk about, and this is something that we're kind of struggling with a little bit, um, is setting up your business. She wanted to share about Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. Um, setting up your business when you're getting started. If you're, if you truly see the, this business opportunity as, as what it can be, um, is, is, and you really, you know, you're, you're a number three coach and you want to build this business and you're here tonight. I mean, honestly, you wouldn't be here tonight if you, if it's beautiful out, you wouldn't be here if you, if you weren't wanting to see this go through, but setting up your business, like a real business, like, like, like a million dollar business, setting it up where it's scalable, setting up where, when people are going to email you, things look professional. You know, just, we were talking about today, like, we, we did a way better job with our photo booth company in setting up the professionalism of that than we did with Beachbody. We kind of just winged Beachbody. And it's like, and, you know, we use everybody else's, you know, corporate videos, we use everybody else's stuff, and we're like, 
we've been doing this for three years. We should have our own whole system that, and, you know, and, and, and yeah, that, that shows that it you know, might be a little bit hard to duplicate because um, then we're going to say, you're going to need that, you know, as you build your business, you want to do your own videos. But with technology of iPhones and everybody has a video camera on them and video software in your phone and, and whatnot, it's not that hard with YouTube and, and that sort of stuff. I mean, JJ built a website. He, he, he's literally editing it and updating it from his phone like every day. Um, yeah, jjcorey.com, little plug. Um, but uh, it's doable. So we, you know, we need to set ourselves up as, a, as, as that business. So I'm actually, Andrew and I are working on some videos, lists of videos that we want for our new customers coming in, our new coaches that are coming in that are just boom, 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 boom. That, it's, that it is just clockwork. Because if we're setting this up that we're, we're thinking we're only going to bring one person in and we're just going to, you know, just keep reinventing the wheel, then that's going to be a slow, slow process. So just something I was just kind of kicking around one thought you guys about. So um, let's get into what, just, just on those videos real quick. Um, I know that you guys have been with us for a while um, as coaches and stuff like that, but we would definitely be up for constructive criticism when we make the videos because it's not a once and done right we're not making a welcome video and then never making a welcome video again you know what i'm saying i mean i'm not saying i'm going to be updating this thing daily but i mean even quarterly is not that much we're talking four times a year you make a new video for your new challengers so um anyway just kind of tossing that out there well and video goes really far people can see your expressions and not just text and and that sort of stuff so um and and you know and as a team that would be something you guys would all be able to use but eventually as you're building your business you're going to want to have those for yourself but those would be things you'd work on after your vitals um all right cool so I'm gonna actually stop recording this. Is there anything else that needs to be recorded um, that before we come, we jump into this other stuff? I think we're good.